everyone, welcome to Two Car Pros. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to show you exactly how to scan a can inside a modern automobile. Now scanning a can is really easy. Basically all you're doing is scanning multiple systems within a car. Instead of just scanning one, you're scanning all of them all at once and it's pretty easy and straightforward. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty, so we're going to be working here in the driver's foot well today. So right up underneath the uh, driver's foot well. Sometimes it's a little more obvious than others. This is on a Mercedes, so they typically make things about as hard as possible. It's under this little access door. See that just there. So we need to plug our scanner into that port. And that's an OBD2 port. Those were put into law in 1996, so if your car is after 1996, your car does have one of these. All right, so this is the scanner we're gonna be working with today. It's an Autel Maxicom MK808, link down below in the description. Now, this is a pretty expensive scanner. It's around $500 or so, and honestly, it's worth every single penny. No, I'm not sponsored by Autel. No, they didn't spend or send this to me. I spent my own money on this, so these are my honest uh, thoughts. So this unit's really cool. It does all kinds of different things, including it'll set new keys for you, which is actually really expensive to do at a dealership. It'll also uh, do an ABS con uh, purge valve, uh, which, you know, air gets stuck in the ABS and it helps uh, lead your brakes, which a lot of people have trouble with, and we will do a video on that in the future. So I just want to give you a little taster of how powerful this tool can be and why it's worth the money. It's worth every penny, but I did want to mention there are cheaper options available. So what we can do to scan a can is go into our diagnostics, select Mercedes-Benz because this is a Mercedes-Benz GLA. So if you had like a Ford Focus, you'd click Ford and go from there. It's the same procedure. I just like selecting the uh, make. I suppose you could just put the VIN in manually if you wanted to, but uh, the, this tablet is smart enough to put the VIN in itself after you've selected its make. So we can do this. Click automatic, click read. It'll read our VIN number for us, which is just super nice. So you don't have to sit there and uh, enter a VIN number in. See, so it got it right there, perfect. We push OK. So that gives us our engine code, our transmission code. It is not an AMG model, which is kind of tricky about this car because it has the AMG package for looks, but it does not have the AMG uh, performance option. I think it comes with a bigger turbo or something like that. Um, so it gives us our information about what it is exactly, which is very cool. We can select yes, and it'll further communicate with the uh, CAN. So what a CAN is exactly stands for Computer Area Network. What that does is take a bunch of computer systems in the car and ties them all together. So it's actually easier to scan this way instead of trying to scan the ECM, then the PCM, and then the airbag system, or whatever. It kind of just links them all together in a nice convenient package, but you do need a scanner to do that. This is really how it's done nowadays, and it's going to uh, continue being this way for a very long time. It's the future, it's what's coming, and it's all what's already here. Very cool. So you could go to Control Unit it and uh, do a custom scan if you really wanted to but what I want to do is an auto scan and that's gonna scan uh, all the networks in the car it's gonna scan the entire can so we're gonna select that it might take a little while but it's gonna go through every system in the car to make sure you got them all so it's starting off with our motor electronics it's gonna move to our uh, looks like our clutch system for the double plate and go on to electronic stability program so it's just gonna run through all of these while we just sit back and watch. So this looks at the car as a whole so it can uh, detect communications errors between different systems. Instead of you trying to troubleshoot which system isn't talking to another system, this will uh, troubleshoot that for you. It saves a lot of time. So it's scanned through our can here and it did find a couple faults for us. So we can go ahead and select that and it might tell us exactly what it did. Okay, so our function menu, you see, now we're gonna go trouble codes. See, this one is stored in our can here for our transmission. The communication with the ESM selector is faulty. So that is a known issue with this vehicle. And that has cut out a lot of time for me because now I don't have to troubleshoot anything. It's telling me exactly what needs repairing. And then once we have, once we're sure we have fixed this problem, we can even just clear the DTC and that'll get rid of our code. But once you're done with the repair, obviously. So now that there's no faults detected, we can go back to our big long list and it rescanned it and now we have no trouble code there. So that's very, very cool. What we can also do is click on a report here 
and look through every single system. So it also it had that fault there at the signal acquisition module. Let's see if there's any more. So there's one for the tailgate control as well. Uh, and then it just loops around, looks like. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Interesting. So that's super cool. And then if we want, we can go back to this list. And then uh, once we're sure we fixed everything, we can just quick erase everything all at once instead of having to go in. So it'll go through and erase the codes that uh, are unnecessary because we fixed whatever was wrong with it. So that is how you scan a can and fix your codes. Once we're done here, we can go ahead and turn the key off and then unplug our scanner. So that's how to scan the can in a modern automobile. Uh, this is really the way the industry is heading and it's already there now. You have to be able to scan a can on a modern automobile and going into the future, the can is only gonna become more and more necessary to be able to scan. So I recommend just buying a nice scanner now and future proofing yourself, why not? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.